Given that, I can take a look at it and say, well, I know I'm going to have three asymptotes. So my function, g of x, I know I'm going to have in my denominator, now too far off to the side, make sure I'm spaced the gap, g of x, There we go. And then minus 4 plus 2 minus 3. Now, because the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0, that means the degree of the top has to be less than the degree of the bottom. I don't know anything else about it. That will do the job. Now, it could be a, another number. It can be Anything, any quadratic I put up there will still give me the same function, with the same, still give me the same asymptotes. However, if this problem were to be changed to say, oh, let's not use 0, let's use 3 instead as my horizontal asymptote changes everything even more. Now what I'm looking at is the top has to be a third degree equation, and the ratio of the top to the bottom must be 3 to 1. Because the degree has to match to have a non-zero asymptote. Now, that said, if the degree of the top exceeds the degree of the bottom, then I end up with one of those slant or oblique asymptotes. Or we simply say no horizontal asymptote anymore, and that is not something you need to worry about. Okay, let me put that in the box.